Okay, hey y'all, this is Mike with iWearShorts.com. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to render a custom video size for HTML5 embedding uh, on the web, and uh, specifically it's meant to play on the iPad. Now there are a ton of ways that you can do this. Um, usually I just use Miro Converter to uh, convert whatever video I have to an mp4 but in this case I have a custom sized video that I really need to get into a page it's not playing correctly on the iPad um, so I'm going to show you how to export it basically uh, what I've got here is an mp4 or an MOV file that I'm going to move into my project and I'm going to set this to h264 uh, then I've got a custom setting here but basically what you're going to want to do is find the setting that's closest to your video settings uh, so in this case I want to go to an iPad Air uh, so I want to export for iPad 2, 1080p, 23.967 frame rate, 976. Uh, then I'm going to go into the export settings here. I'm going to adjust a few things. So uh, one of the things I'm going to adjust is the level. I'm going to set that to 5.1 to give myself some more space. You can see it adjusts my frame rate. So I'm going to go back down to 23.976. Um, this is I'm going to adjust this video to my dimensions, which is 1152 by 1536. It's a 4-3 ratio in portrait mode. And then uh, all the rest of these settings look fine. Um, so you could go up here and save this as, uh, as whatever you wanted to name it. I happen to name mine uh, iPad Portrait HTML5. But you can save that preset so you don't have to adjust these settings manually every time. Um, so I'm going to hit OK. And uh, once that's done, I'm going to make sure I'm exporting to my desktop. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Render. OK, meanwhile, we're going to open up the iPad simulator and get ready. Um, so as soon as that's done rendering, which it almost is, you can hear that little beep. Uh, so there's my alpha1.mp4. I'm just going to drag that into my uh, iPad simulator. And you can see here, it's rendering out very nicely. It looks great on the iPad. And uh, that's it. So thanks for watching.